More than a billion dollars. That's how much money a dorm organization wants to invest in one area. So the plan here is to redevelopment, uh, redevelop rather, and re revitalize the historic Hay Thai community. New at 11, CBS 17's Nick Sternman is live in Durham with much more on this. And Nick, this is a really big deal. Yeah, it is a massive project. It is called Hay Thai Reborn, and this massive project would include affordable housing, an innovation academy, a grocery store, and you guys, that's just phase one. I just see a tremendous opportunity. I see hope. I see opportunity to, to really catalyze the community. Dr. Henry McCoy says his vision is clear. What I see also is an opportunity for the community to reclaim and, uh, and, 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 and regroup from what was really uh, taken from them years ago. McCoy is the executive director of the Durham Global Equity Project. Their mission, redeveloping the Haytai community in Durham, spending more than a billion dollars through four phases over eight years on 2,000 acres of property. This area within the gates designated for phase one, which would include housing and innovation academy, a grocery store, office, and retail space. We're in the process now of trying to get site control. This, this land is owned by the Durham Housing Authority. But McCoy says they have the investors at the table to help with all four phases. We've been very lucky. Uh, folks continue to show up uh, on a regular basis to say, hey, we want to be a part of this. In the early 20th century, the Haytai community was home to hundreds of black-owned businesses. But with the start of urban renewal in the late 50s, many businesses and homes were torn down. We've seen billions of dollars invested in downtown Durham and virtually no money invested here. And so it's not, you know, going out to billions for the sake of billions, but at the same time, it's saying that this community deserves that kind of investment. And Rod and Angela, depending on how things go as far as land acquisition, the group hopes to start work next year. Listen to this. They also want to build a museum, a research lab, and an event center. Live in Durham tonight, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. That is so cool. And we were just reading about it. There is a lot of history. Right, and this will help kind of revitalize that area, bring some of that history back. Remind to it. people what, what was there what once was before. There. Yeah. Absolutely. This